Hey guys, it's Mame and welcome to another Wednesday Chalk Couture video and today we are making some pictures for my boys bathroom at home. I have loved this transfer since day one and wanted to use it and you'll see it as we go. You'll see what the transfer looks like but it comes in one piece together so all the transfers I'm using today are one transfer when you purchase them. I just want to make that clear and I'm using um, four boards. I'm using this which is an oh uh, what size is this? <laughs> Amanda's in here. She's gonna help me. I think this is a 12 by 18 and then I'm using the 9 by 12 so I'm using four boards all together all chalk couture boards all right so let's start with this guy I have you've seen me use this one already I used it on a project for my kitchen so I'm going to use this one here again so shouldn't really need to fuzz this one much because I've used it once but we did wash it and dry it and that brings some of the sticky back so I'm going to fuzz it this at 12 by 18 uh -huh. okay I thought so I wasn't sure all right so like I said I've used this one before so I don't need to fuzz it as much but if it was brand new, you would want to put it onto your fuzzing cloth a few times. Okay, so I'm just going to work that down like this. Notice how I don't rub all the way to the corners. There's just no reason to push those down and it allows me an easy way to pick those up after I'm done. So I'm going to put that one like that. And this project is going to go fast because I'm using one chalk color. But that's because I only want the one chalk color for my um, home decor. I'm wanting the white on the black. I want it to really pop. So let me fuzz this guy. I'll probably fuzz this one three or four times because I haven't used this um, basin yet. Now, I said basin because I'm trying to be fancy, but we call it a sink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some people call it a lavatory. Some people call it, a, we call it a sink. All right, so get this guy nice and fuzzed. That feels good. And then I'm going to put it right underneath here. And I'm going to take it up just a little bit, overlap it. I'm not going to squish that together really. Just going to do it about like that. So I can do this in one pass, which is going to be awesome. Now, if you've never seen Chalk Couture before, it is awesome. These are transfers. They are not stencils. They actually have screen in them, and they act like screen printing. So here I am. I'm going to put down my chalk paste. This is chalk, which means I can wash it off later, and I can change it to something else, which I love because I'm a person that likes to change my home decor. So this way, I'm not locked in to these designs. I can actually change them uh, when I get tired of having this particular design. So I'm picking up some of this and transferring it down here to the, to the sink. And all I'm doing is flooding the transfer. I do not have to um, over soak this transfer with the paste, with the chalk paste. I just need to flood the screen is all I'm doing. Now I'm leaving that there so I can pick it up and put it back in my jar because you can do that and you can reuse what you pick up. And because I'm trying not to get where they're crossing over each other, I'm gonna use one of these little guys to pick up the excess right down here. So just grab this, pick all that up. I don't usually use this much. I got a little heavy today. If you get this where you shouldn't, don't even worry about it. You can always clean it up because it's chalk. Now the paste is a little different. You have to be a little more careful with your paste when you're using it, not your paste, but your ink. When you're using it on like fabric and stuff like that, you do have to be a little more careful. All right, so I got a little heavy with that. And here's some down here I need to pick up. Also got heavy handed. Use about half to a third of how much I put down there. Scrub that out. Okay. Let's peel these off. Go. I had it and I dropped it. Now when you're peeling this away, you do not want to peel from one corner. You want to try to keep the pressure and the tug the same all the way across because you don't want to stretch the screen. Look how beautiful that is on that black. I love it. Then you just hand this to your trusty assistant who's cleaning it for you. <laughs> I'm lucky. Amanda's in here so she can help me get these things cleaned in between. But you can take them right to your sink when you're done and rinse them off. Water cleans it. It's really amazing, to be honest with you. And look how gorgeous this is going to be finished. And that is how easy this is. So now I have a beautiful piece of artwork from my boy's bathroom. Now there's a couple places I need to clean off. We don't have a, hand me a paper towel. We can just touch it in the water there. Um, or a Q-tip. If you have a Q-tip, you can use that too. I think we're fine though. I mean, it's not, it's not close or anything. I just need to get this little dot off. So if you get somewhere you don't want it, here's what I love. See that little spot I don't want right there? Just clean it with my paper towel and we're all ready, set, and go. 
So look, one done. This is a don't blink project, I'm telling y'all, because these get done super fast. Look how pretty that is. I love that. Oh, that's cute. It's also going to be handy to have in my boys' bathroom because it will remind them of all of these things. It'll be like your steps for the morning. If they'll just do this, it'll be so easy. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do the same thing multiple times. So we'll probably just put some music on this and let you guys watch me because I'm literally going to do the same thing over and over again here. So I want to put my comb a little closer to the wording. So I'm going to let this dry while I move on to my other words and I can come right back to it and put that comb down. So here we go guys, check it out. Here's my larger board. This is the 12 by 18, completely done. And then look at these guys. This one says, comb your hair. It's so pretty. And I love how graphic these are, the black and the white. And then soak, unwind and relax. And then brush your teeth. Now here's what I love about this. Some people say, I don't really love the chalk couture because it's not permanent. That's what I love about it. I have invested in these boards. And now when I decide to change them, even for Christmas, I could change these and have Christmas art in the bathroom instead of this. And I can go right back to this afterwards. There's nothing that would keep me from doing it. I love it. So there you go. And by the way, I know you guys probably heard we have a new catalog. It just released. Um, actually, let's see if you're watching this on Wednesday, it released yesterday. So there's a lot of new Christmas stuff that's out. You guys have to go check it out. I'll put a link below to my Chalk Couture website. And if you want to join our team, now is the perfect time. Christmas is coming up. All the Christmas projects, there are some new uh, new boards. I cannot wait for y'all to see the new surfaces. I ordered several new surfaces. You're going to love them. So go check it out on the website that's linked below. And thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.